Eagles. It's Coach Williams. And this morning, I have some more activities that you can do using a basketball or a ball that bounces while you are sitting in a chair. All right. First thing to remember is if you're hanging out, chilling, maybe watching something, but you have your ball because you're ready to exercise, you first want to scoot up to the edge of the chair. That way the basketball doesn't hit it when you try to start. Because if you're back here and you go, oh, this is going to hit you or hit the chair. So you want to scoot up to the edge. All right. Last week we talked about bouncing it back and forth in between your fingertips. See if you can try that today going up high and keeping it moving and then lower by your head, lower and by your stomach. See if you can keep it moving and get it low, low, low by your feet. If this is difficult, then what you can try to do is go back and forth in one spot and then maybe go up high and then stop the ball back to the middle, stop the ball and then back low and then stop the ball. All right. Or you can keep it moving as you go higher and then lower, bouncing the ball back and forth or passing the ball back and forth between your finger pads. Okay. It's not really your fingertips. It's more your finger pads right there. All right, next one, roll the ball around one foot. Do the best you can to keep your head up, but when you are practicing this for the first time, you probably have to look at the ball. But ideally with basketball skills, our goal is to be able to do many things with a basketball while keeping your head up and not looking at the ball. In a game, if you were to look at the ball, an opponent, someone from the other team playing defense might steal it from you. Okay, so roll the ball around both feet. Then you put your legs up like this and you go around, keeping it off the ground, going around. And then see if you can switch directions. One direction will be easier than the other direction. It always is based on whichever hand is your dominant hand, meaning the one that is easier to use for exercises and activities that involve hand-eye coordination. All right, next, we did some dribbling last week where we kind of bounced it in between. See if you can put one leg forward and dribble in between, catching it on the other side. And then see if you can keep it going. Oop, I missed, I hit myself. You wanna make sure that that ball lands directly underneath your knee with a little bit of a push towards your other hand. See if you can keep that going. So try that with one leg and then try with your opposite. Okay, so then you'll switch and try with the opposite. Then see if you can dribble. Oh, I missed. I dribbled right off my shoe. All right, that's okay. Coach Williams messes up all the time. See if you can dribble, switching hands, and see if you can get it all the way around one leg. Okay, I'm again using my finger pads. Okay, and pushing the ball towards the ground, straight back up, seeing if I can dribble it around one foot. And then the other, seeing if I can keep it going with only, oops, with only one hand on the ball at a time. All right, so here's a tough one. Both feet, and you're gonna try to make a figure eight. This was a figure eight in the air. Okay, going around one leg and then the other. All right, so that's a lead up to what we're gonna do next, where you try to dribble around one and then see if you can keep that going around the other one. I kind of moved my feet a little bit to try to make it easier for myself. Oh, stepped on my foot there, bounced on my foot. But you want to try to get it so that you can keep your feet in the same spot without moving them as you dribble around. All right, so see if you can try these exercises. Um, see if you can come up with some of your own. Some of you are very skilled with sports. You can comment on this. You can email me. You can go to Google Classroom. Um, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Uh, make it a great day. Be nice to someone. Bye.